Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is the second part of my three-part series makeover. And last in my last video, I had done some simple yet quirky decor pieces, and I have some more left which I will be completing today. So let's hop onto the DIYs of the day. So for this decor piece, I am taking this photo frame, open it up and then I will stick this piece of burlap onto the cardboard part. You guys can take any other piece of cloth according to your choice. The cloth should be cut into the required size. Glue the cloth onto the cardboard. Now take a print of whatever you want on the glass like here I have taken a dream big printout. Set the glass properly on the printout, make sure that it's not twisted. I am using a 3D liner here to write on the glass. Now start putting back the frame together, first put in the glass and before putting the cardboard add a string battery light inside the frame and then close it. Attach this box with a cello tape. And our frame is ready. In the next one, I will be using thermocol, cut into any letter of your choice. So I am using a P here. Now I am using 3 pieces of thermocol since I want to give it a raised look. I am using 3 pieces of thermocol since I have a thin sheet with me. You can get a thicker one and then there would be no need of sticking the sheets together. To complete the look, I am using these thin strips of paper to cover the sides. Once this is done, add generous amount of glue and then start putting colourful flowers on it. And here it is, my favourite letter is ready as a decor piece. The third one is a decoupage jar, so I will start with cleaning the outer surface and then will give a coat of plastic primer so that the paint stays on it.
Let the primer dry and then apply two coats of acrylic paint. Next, I am going to roughly tear the flowers off uh, from this tissue paper. The next step would be to glue the flowers on the jar. Start by applying glue on the jar and then put these flowers on it. Now I am using a dry brush to evenly spread the flowers over the jar. Make sure you are using a dry brush because a wet one would then tear the flowers off. Finally, all our decor pieces are ready and in my next video, I will be completing the entire makeover and uh, if you have missed the first part, then I am linking it above, you can go watch it. You can subscribe to my channel uh, for more such DIY updates and uh, if you have any queries regarding any of my projects, then uh, please let me know in the comments below and you can also uh, DM me in my Insta account. Till then guys, see ya. Bye.